Good morning, everybody. I'm Sam. Thank you for joining me with this 45-minute vinyasa, too. Today's class, we are going to be going back to the basics. We'll be running through a couple different variations of sun salutations, as well as taking poses that should be more familiar uh, in a vinyasa 2 class so that we're really able to drop in to feel these poses in our body, to feel our breath in the poses, and to notice how each each pose that we take affects our breath in a different way. So just using this time on our mat as an opportunity of self-study to drop into that felt experience and just observe what's happening in our bodies, what's going on. That being said, this is a vinyasa too, and if you know me, I am uh, will most likely add some spice to it. So always take breaks when needed take modifications, and most importantly, just have fun with it. Make this practice your own. When you're ready, we're gonna get started in a child's pose. So coming into your child's pose, option to have the knees together or apart. Arms can be forward or down by your sides. Whatever feels good to you. And then just take a moment once you land in the pose to just settle in. Allow your body just to soften. And within this little cocoon shape of your body, take this opportunity to turn your attention in. Notice all the sensations that you feel in this moment. Notice the emotions that are present. Notice the quality of your mental activity. And just really noticing how you are arriving this morning on your mat. Oftentimes, our, the way that we are showing up on our mat is a reflection of how we are showing up off of our mat in our everyday lives. And this is our opportunity to really just check in. And as you check in and you start to notice what it is that's here, that what's present in your physical body, emotionally, mentally, can you allow for yourself just to relax into it? Instead of resisting or instead of attaching, just noticing what is here and breathing, staying present. And start to turn your attention a little more onto your breath. And to begin with, just tune in to the rhythm of your natural breathing. Natural inhales, natural exhales. And then without forcing it, just easing into it, start to drop a little deeper into the breath. So as you inhale, draw the oxygen down deep into your lungs. Again, don't force it. And as you exhale, Lengthen your exhale, drag out your exhale. And we can continue that slow, deep breaths in and long breaths out. And just notice how that simple change of your breath can also change your experience. If it's a part of your practice, you can start to connect with your ujjayi breath, audible inhales, audible exhales through your nose. There's just a slight constriction of your throat, creating that oceanic sound. If that doesn't work for you, just stay with your breath that you created. Right? Most importantly, you breathe in a way that supports you. Your breath becomes your anchor, your guide, and your fuel through your practice. Take another full deep breath in and a long breath out. Now actively keeping your hips pressing down towards your heels, walk your fingertips just a little more forward towards the front of your mat, and then walk both of your hands over to the right side of your mat, coming into a side body stretch. Maybe your left fingertips walk a little further forward than your right. Bring your awareness to your left side body and start to breathe into it. So you inhale thinking about expansion, creating space, 
and as you exhale, you soften into the sensation that you're feeling. Another full deep breath in, and a long breath out. From here, slowly walk your hands all the way over to the left, crossing through center. Maybe walking those right fingertips a little further than the left, and then bringing your awareness to your right side body. Breathe into it. Just breathing into what you feel. Take another full deep breath in, and a long breath out. Gently walk your hands back to center. Press down into your palms and very slowly and mindfully start to bring your up, yourself up to hands and knees, tabletop position. Stacking your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees. Shift your hips a little side to side, bring movement into your body, whatever feels good. And again, taking this time to check in as we start to take movement, what are you feeling in your body? And then coming back to center all together, we'll take some rounds of cat-cow. So as you inhale, you're gonna drop your belly, lift your head, lift your chest. Tailbone presses high towards the sky. Exhale, press through the palms, round through your spine and gaze towards your belly button. Tuck your tailbone under. Inhale, belly drops, head, chest, tail lifts. Exhale to round. Two more, inhale, follow your breath. Lift your head, your chest, your tail. Exhale, empty your lungs as you round your spine. Last time, inhale, drop your belly, head, chest. Exhale, press through the palms. Really push the floor away from you. Back to a neutral spine, flat back, breathe in. Tuck your toes under, shift your hips up and back, downward facing dog as you breathe out. Press the palms down into the mat and then grip the floor with your fingertips. Really activate through your hands. Press down into the soles of your feet. Feel the ground beneath you. And then come back to your breath. Full breath in. Long breath out. One more just like that. Inhale fully. Exhale completely. As you inhale, shift forward into plank, shoulders over your wrists, pull your heart forward, long spine. Down to back to downward facing dog as you exhale. Notice the movement that it takes. Inhale to draw forward. Exhale to press back. One more time, inhale, shift forward. Pause, feel your strength. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale forward into plank pose. This time hold it here. Pull your belly towards your spine. Activate through your legs. Press through your palms. Again, feel the strength in your body. Where do you feel strong? Breathe. Inhale, shift forward onto your toes. Slow exhale, come all the way down to your belly. Let your elbows brush your sides. Gentle release to the floor. Inhale, press through the palms. Lift your head, lift your chest. Baby cobra, big breath in. Exhale, release your forehead back down to the mat. Two more times, inhale, lift up, head, chest, lifts high. Exhale and release. One more time, maybe go lift a little higher, breathe in. Release, let it go, breathe out. Tuck your toes under, lift your knees away from the mat or as you inhale, option to come to hands and knees or press it up, plank pose. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. One more inhale, think about feeling all the way up. Feel that breath in your body, that expansion. And then let your exhale guide you to the top of the mat. So gently walk your feet forward. Come into a rag doll, feet about hip width distance apart. Grab onto opposite shoulder or opposite elbow with opposite hand. Start with a big bend in your knees so you rest your upper body on your thighs. And then allow for your head to get really heavy. Gently shake your head side to side, yes and no. Maybe take the movement a little bigger, swaying the upper body side to side. 
as your body starts to open, it feels good to you. You can start to straighten your legs. Maybe bending into one knee as you straighten the other, just to ease into it a little more. Take another full deep breath in. Deep breath out. Gently release your hands down to the mat. Toe heel your feet together. Big toes touch, slight space in your heels. Press down into your feet. Inhale, stand up, sweep up. Big breath in. Exhale, hands to your heart as you breathe out. Close your eyes, feel your body, feel your breath. Turn your attention inwards. And then taking this moment right here, setting your intention for your practice. Keeping in mind what you want to embody, what qualities you want to bring into your movement. Place that here. As you inhale, breathe it in. As you exhale, send it out. Inhale, sweep your arms, reach high. Exhale, bow forward over your legs. Stay with me, flat back, inhale, lengthen. Now as you exhale, hands down onto the mat, step your left foot to the back of the mat, lower your back knee. Keep your hands down, but tint your palms come up onto your fingertips. As you inhale, big breath in, lift your head, lift your chest, pull your heart forward, big inhale. Exhale, plant your palms, step back to plank. As you inhale, shift forward on your toes. Exhale, lower down halfway or to your belly, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, low cobra, big breath in. Downward facing dog as you breathe out. Take an inhale and let it go, exhale. Big toes come together to touch. Inhale, sweep the right leg up and back, breathe in. Exhale, steps the right foot between your hands. Lower the back knee down to the mat. Tint the palms, come up onto the fingertips. Big breath in, lift your head, your chest. Exhale, standing forward fold. Left foot meets your right. Flat back, inhale, lengthen, long spine. Exhale, bow and release. Inhale, stand up, sweep up, big breath in. Hands to your heart, back to center, breath out. Arms reach high as you inhale. Bow forward as you exhale. Inhale, lengthen, long spine. Hands down to the mat, right foot steps back, lower your right knee. Tint the palms, inhale, lift your head, your chest up high. Exhale, plant the palms, step it back, plank pose. Inhale, shift forward, exhale, lower. Heart opens as you breathe in. Downward facing dog as you breathe out. Take a breath in and a breath out. Big toes come together to touch. Left leg lifts up high, inhale. Exhale, steps your left foot between your hands. Back knee lowers, tint the palms, lift your head, your chest, breathe in. Standing forward, fold as you breathe out. Halfway lift, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow, release. Inhale, stand up, sweep up, big breath in. Hands to heart, breath out. Notice the heat starting to build in your body, feel it. To the breath, inhale, sweep your arms, reach high. Exhale, bow forward. Flat back, inhale, lengthen. Hands down to the mat, left foot steps back, left knee lowers. Inhale, lift your heart, big breath in. Exhale, plant the palms, step back to plank. Shift forward as you breathe in, lower as you breathe out. Heart opens, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Let yourself land, feel your hands, feel your feet press into the earth. Big toes come together to touch. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, big step forward. Left knee lowers, heart lifts, breathe in. Standing forward, fold, breathe out. Lengthen, inhale, bow, exhale. Inhale to rise, hands to heart, feel your center, exhale. Really nice, you guys. Inhale, arm sweep. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, lengthen. 
Hands down, right foot steps back, right knee lowers. Lift your heart, breathe in. Plant the palms, step back to plank, breathe out. Shift forward, inhale, lower, exhale. Heart opens, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Take a breath, let it go. Big toes come together to touch, left leg to the sky, inhale. Left foot steps forward, exhale. Right knee down, tint the palms, lift the heart, big breath in, feel your breath. Plant the palms, standing forward, fold, breath out. Lengthen, inhale. Bow forward, exhale. Press down, rise high, inhale. Hands to heart, back to center, exhale. Once again, close your eyes, feel your body, feel your breath, feel the heat. Feel all the effects of the yoga. Take another inhale. Another exhale. Sun A's. Inhale, sweep your arms, reach high. Exhale, bow forward over your legs. Flat back, inhale, lengthen. Think about keeping the length in your spine. Exhale, plant the palms, step back and lower down, all on the exhale. Heart opens, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Take an inhale. Press into your hands and feet, exhale. Inhale, come high up onto your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, top of your mat, step, hop, or walk. Flat back, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow, release. Inhale, stand up, sweep up, big breath in. Hands to heart, breath out. Arms reach to the sky, inhale. Bow forward, exhale. Heart opens, breathe in. Plant the palms, shoot it, step it, walk it back, bottom of your push-up. Heart opens, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Again, let yourself land. Feel where you land. Press your hands down, your feet down. Feel the strength in your arms, your legs, the length in your spine. Okay, be with what you feel. Take another breath in. Another breath out. So you inhale, shift forward into plank. Modification here is to drop your knees down to the mats. Exhale, bend your arms, chaturanga, pause. Back to plank pose, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Beautiful, one more time. Inhale, plank pose. Stay here or lower your knees. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga, hold. Plank pose, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Nice, take a deep breath in. Long breath out. Inhale, come high up onto your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, top of your mat. Flat back, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow, release. Inhale, stand up, sweep up, big breath in. Hands to heart, breath out. Come back to your intention. Come back to your breath. Chair pose, inhale, drop your hips, lift your arms, big breath in. And then exhale, settle into the pose. Breathe. Arms up by your ears, but if that's too much, go post your arms. You can draw your hands to your heart. You can extend your arms straight out in front of you. Whatever feels good to you. Breathe. Stay with your breath. Stay with the sensation. Find your edge. Take another inhale. Bow forward, release, exhale. Coming into a dancing warrior variation. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, plant the palms, step back to plank, lower down. Heart opens, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Right leg lifts high, breathe in. Step your right foot between your hands as you breathe out. Steady, strong legs. Crescent lunge, inhale, stand up, reach the arms high. Use your exhale to settle. 
make any adjustments that are needed. Really activate strong into the leg, strong steady foundation. And then notice, okay, what are you feeling? How are you breathing? Stay with the sensations, stay with your breath. Take another inhale. Warrior two as you exhale. Spin the back heel down, extend through the fingertips, relax your shoulders, <laughs> breathe. See if you can find that place that is challenging but not overwhelming. Right? You're able to maintain the alignment and maintain that slow, steady breath. Let your breath guide you, let your breath support you. As you inhale, flip your front palm, reverse your warrior, reach back. Exhale into extended side angle. Right forearm, right thigh. Left arm reaches up and over. Roll your left shoulder open. Maybe turn your heart towards up towards the ceiling. Press down into your right forearm so you're not dumping into your right shoulder. Keep the integrity of the pose. Strong legs. Breathe. Inhale to reverse your warrior. Stay with me. Exhale, windmill your hands down to the mat. Does that scare you when I can say that to you guys? <laughs> Shoot your right leg straight back so you're in a one-legged plank. Breathe in. Draw your knee into your nose. Breathe out. Three-legged dog, right leg high. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. You can always stay here or inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Heart opens, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Take a breath, let it go. Left leg to the sky, inhale. Exhale, steps the left foot forward. Strong legs, feel your foundation. Crescent lunge, rise up, reach the arms high. Exhale, settle into the pose. Notice where you can soften. Breathe. Breathe and stay with your breath. Stay with the subtle movements. Stay with your sensations. Be with what's here. Right? Don't resist it. Don't try and change it, just breathe into it. Stay with where you feel strong in your body. Breathe into what you feel. Take another inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Soften in. And again, find that edge. Okay, that place where you get kind of curious of what's happening. Can you start to see your tendencies? Can you stay calm? Can you stay with your breath? Right? Can you let the reactions pass? Breathe. Without coming out of your legs, inhale, flip your front palm, reverse your warrior, reach back. Exhale into extended side angle, left forearm, forearm, left thigh. Reach the right arm up and over, extend through the fingertips, roll your right shoulder open and breathe. Strong in the legs. Inhale, reverse your warrior, reach back. Exhale, windmill your hands down. Turn onto the toes of the back foot. Inhale, extend the left leg straight back. One legged plank, left toes hover over the mat. Knee to your nose, exhale. Three legged dog, left leg high, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower. Heart opens, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Take a long inhale. And take this time just to check in once again. Notice the quality of your breath. Notice ha what's happening in your body. Breathe. If you need a break, take a break. Drop down to the knees, come back to child's pose. Okay, what feels good to you? Take as long as you need here. You can always meet up with us. Next inhale, come high up onto your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, top of your mat. 
Flat back inhale, lengthen long spine. Exhale, bow, release. Chair pose, drop your hips low, reach your arms up high. Big breath in as you rise, feel the pose. Exhale, bow forward and release. Flat back, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant the palm, shoot it, step it, walk it back. Bottom of your push-up. Upward facing dog, low cobra, big breath in. Downward facing dog, as you breathe out, we're gonna move to the breath. Right leg high, inhale. Exhale, steps your right foot forward. Strong legs, crescent lunge as you breathe in. Warrior two, as you breathe out. Reverse your warrior, inhale, big breath into the right side body. Extended side angle, exhale. Back to reverse your warrior, breathe in. Hands down to the mat, turn on to the toes as you breathe out. Shoot the right leg straight back, inhale. Knee to your nose, exhale. Three-legged dog, right leg high, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Stay here, inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, low cobra, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Left leg to the sky, inhale. Step your left foot forward, exhale. Strong legs, crescent lunge, rise, lift, breathe in. Warrior two, breathe out. Reverse, inhale. Extended side angle, exhale. Follow your exhale all the way out. Then inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, hands down to the mat, turn onto your toes. Left leg straight back, breathe in. Knee to your nose, breathe out. Left leg high, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Plank pose, breathe in. Lower down, breathe out. Heart opens, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. And breathe and feel. Hey, okay, stay connected. Stay with your breath. Notice the placement of your hands, the length in your spine. Notice if you're clenching in your neck, release your neck and breathe. From here, toe heel your feet out towards the edges of your mat. Walk your hands back about a handprint or two. Take the left hand, grab onto the right ankle or calf muscle. Take an inhale, think of lengthening your spine. Exhale, twist your upper body towards the right. Gaze under your right arm. And breathe. Another full breath in. Full breath out. Gently release the left hand. Take it to the other side, right hand to left calf muscle, ankle. Inhale, length. Exhale, twist. One more inhale. And exhale. Gently release your right hand back to the mat. Now from here, keep your feet wide just as they are. Walk your hands out so you're coming into this wide legged, legged plank. Inhale, shift forward. Slow exhale all the way down to your belly. Again, keeping the legs wide, just untuck the toes, press the tops of the feet down. Bring your hands out to the edges of the mat, tint the palms. Big breath in, lift your head, your chest, your heart, draw your elbows in, roll your shoulders back. Pull your belly in towards your spine and breathe. Big breath into the space of your heart. One more inhale. Gently release, let it go. <laughs> Exhale. Forehead down, legs together, feet together. Hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes, lift your knees. Again, you can press to tabletop or press it up, plank pose, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your big toes together to touch. Right leg lifts to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, steps your right foot between your hands. Crescent lunge, inhale, stand on your legs, rise high, breathe in. 
Keep the length in your spine. Exhale, lean out over your right knee. Sweep your arms back. Reach your heart forward. Gaze right down in front of your right toes. Start to shift the weight forward into the right leg. Lift the left leg up parallel to the mat. Okay? Or you can always keep your left toes just pressing down onto the mat for the modification, what feels good to you. You can play with your arms. Arms can stay down by your sides. Hands can come to your cart, cart or you can reach your arms forward. Okay? Just steady your gaze. And wherever you're at, keep breathing and keep feeling. Okay. Feel the wobbles, feel the strength, feel the subtle movement. Draw your hands to your heart as you breathe in. Half moon pose, right hand down, left hip stacks on top of right, reach through the right fingertips, left fingertips. See if you can reach so much through the left fingertips that you maybe start to take weight out of the right hand. Okay, breathe. Steady your gaze, lift your left leg a little higher, flex your left foot, really strong and active through both of your legs. Take another breath in, left hand back down to the mat, square your hips, standing splits, left leg lifts up towards the sky, forehead towards your shin, crown of the head down towards your mat. You can keep your hands planted on the mat, you can maybe play with your balance a little bit, wrap one or both hands around your right ankle. Hey, if you're over it, standing forward fold is always an option. You breathe there. Wherever you're at, take another deep breath in. Slow step to the back of the mat with your left foot as you breathe out. Plant the palms, three-legged dog, right leg high as you inhale. Right knee, left upper arm as you exhale. Fallen triangle, right leg squeezes straight, left arm reaches towards the sky. Really press through the right arm, reach to the left fingertips. Maybe drop your head back, open your throat a little bit. And breathe. One more inhale. Exhale, left hand down to the mat. Left knee draws into your chest. Look between your hands, take a breath in and step right foot forward between your hands. Warrior two, windmill your arms open. Okay, and take your time, settle into your pose. Find your edge, breathe, feel your feet. So you inhale, squeeze your right leg straight. You might wanna toe, your, toe heel your left foot in just a little bit. Start to hinge forward, reach forward. Think about creating length on the right side and then keep that length as the right arm goes down and the left arm goes up towards the ceiling. Triangle pose, trikonasana. Think about extending or broadening through your collarbones so you keep your heart open. Think about pulling your heart forward towards the top of the mat so you keep the length in your spine. And then strong, active legs support the pose and breathe. Keep the legs straight. Use the left arm to pull you up. Breathe in. Draw your hands to your heart. Turn your toes in. Or not draw your hands to your heart. Draw your hands to your hips. <laughs> it's Friday. Inhale, lift your chest. Draw your elbows in towards each other. Take a big breath in. Again, you can maybe drop your head back a little bit. Let the throat open. And then slight bend in your knees as you fold forward. Hands come down to the mat make any adjustments. You can widen your stance, you can shorten your stance, and then bring your hands underneath your shoulders, lift your torso halfway, breathe in. Left hand comes underneath your gaze, right arm reaches towards the sky for a twist as you breathe out. Reach through your fingertips. Take another deep breath in, release it, right hand down, breathe out. Let your head get heavy, shake it gently side to side. And then take it to the other side, hands underneath the shoulders, flat back, inhale, lengthen. This time, right hand underneath the gaze, left arm reaches towards the sky. Twist, breathe. Notice if you're holding your breath. Take another inhale. Left hand back down to the mat, release, fold forward.
Again, hands underneath the shoulders, flat back, inhale, lengthen, long spine. Exhale, walk your hands to the front of the mat, standing forward fold, left foot meets your right. Flat back, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow, release. Chair pose, drop your hips down low, reach your arms up high, breathe in. Draw your hands into your heart as you breathe out. Take an inhale, think of lifting your chest up towards your thumbs, create that length in your spine, and then carry that length into your twist. Left elbow hooks the outside of the right thigh. Thigh. Sit your hips down low, press your palms together, and just like we did in triangle pose, think about pulling your heart forward. So you keep that length in your spine. Breathe, you can keep the palms together, pressing into each other. You can extend your arms, left arm down to the mat, right arm reaches towards the sky. See if you can find your fullest expression of the pose, whatever that looks like in your body, and breathe. One more inhale. Bow, release, let it go, exhale. Flat back, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant your palms, flow through your vinyasa. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Big breaths in, long breaths out. Bring your big toes together to touch. Inhale, lift the left leg high. Exhale, steps your left foot forward between your hands. Stand tall, crescent lunge, breathe in. Exhale, lean out over your left knee, sweep your arms back, pull your heart forward. Steady your gaze right in front of your left foot. Start to shift your weight forward and lift the right leg up. Warrior three, and then you play with your arms. Arms can stay back, airplane arms, you can draw them to your heart. Extend them forward, goal post, lots of options. What feels good to you? Breathe. Take the variations that are gonna bring you into your body. Take another inhale. Draw your hands to your heart. Hold it there, breathe in. Half moon pose. Left hand down this time, right arm reaches to the sky. Roll your right hip open. Think about flexing your right foot and extending back through your heel. You're lengthening and open, opening, and then there's a lift. Press down through your left foot. Reach through your right fingertips and breathe. One more breath in. Slow transition, don't rush it. Right hand down to the mat. Square your hips. Back to your standing splits, right leg high. Big breath in, stay as you breathe out. One more inhale wherever you're at. Slow step to the back of the mat as you exhale. Plant your palms, three-legged dog, left leg high, breathe in. Left knee right upper arm as you breathe out. Fall in triangle, left leg straight, right arm reaches high. Lift your hips, maybe drop your head back. Breathe in. Right hand back down to the mat. Pull your left knee into your chest. You can adjust if needed, look between your hands. Take an inhale. Step your left foot forward as you exhale. Warrior two, windmill your arms open. Use your exhale to settle. Feel your legs. Breathe. Inhale, squeeze your left leg straight. If you need, toe heel that back foot in, shorten the stance a little, and then hinge and reach, create space on the left side. Left arm down, right arm reaches high. Strong, active legs. Notice if your spine is rounding forward. Think about pulling your heart forward, lengthening through your spine, maybe leaning back just a little bit. Legs are gonna stay straight, right arm's gonna help to pull you up, and then catch your hips with your hands. Toes in, heels out, big breath in, lift your chest. 
slow exhale, slight bend in your knees, fold all the way forward. Hands come down to the mat. You can widen your stance, shorten it, whatever feels good to you. And then take an inhale, lift your torso halfway length and pull your heart forward, get a little longer, and then bow into it, release. You can walk your hands forward, you can walk your hands back. You can take your peace fingers, grab onto your big toes, help to pull you down a little more. What feels good to you? Breathe. Stay with the sensation, the breath. And you stay present with what you're feeling, that felt experience. Pulling ourselves out of our minds into our bodies. Another breath in, another breath out. Gently start to bring your hands back underneath your shoulders. Inhale, lengthen, long spine, breathe in. Walk your hands to the front of the mat, standing forward, fold as you breathe out. Flat back, lengthen, inhale. Bow forward, exhale. Chair pose, breath in. Hands to your heart, breath out. Good, now lift up, lengthen, breathe in, and then carry that length. Right elbow hooks the outside of your left thigh. Okay, let yourself settle into this twist. Okay, find the depth, find your edge. And wherever you took it on the last side, you can start to move in that direction, but it doesn't need to look the same. Okay, just noticing the difference between each side, breathing into what you find. Staying present, stay with it. One more inhale. Slow release to that forward fold as you exhale. Toe heel your feet out to the edges, or not to the edges, about hip width distance apart. Grab your big toes with your peace fingers. Take an inhale, pull your heart forward, lengthen, and an exhale, and bow. Pull your heart towards your thighs. Splay your elbows out. You can bend deeply into your knees and breathe. Take another breath in. Long breath out. Gently release your toes, toe heel your feet back together. Flat back, inhale, lengthen, long spine. Exhale, bow, release. Inhale, stand up, sweep up, big breath in. Grab your left wrist with your right hand, lean your upper body to the right, breathe out. Inhale, come back to center, switch your grip, and lean over to the left. Back to center, breathe in, palms touch, maybe gaze up, drop your head back. Slight bend in your knees, fold all the way forward, exhale. Inhale, lengthen, long spine, your choice. Last time, flow through your vinyasa or skip it, we'll meet, downward facing dog. Just whatever you're doing, stay present with the movement, with your breath. So you inhale, shift forward into plank, slow exhale, come all the way down to your belly. Gently roll yourself onto your backs, Hug your knees into your chest, rock a little side to side. And then come into a happy baby pose. Soles of your feet up towards the ceiling, knees out wide. Yeah, pull your knees down, press your low back down into the mat. Slight tuck of your chin towards your chest, just a slight tuck. Get the whole length of your spine and breathe. And then gently release, hug your knees back in towards your chest. Bring the soles of your feet down onto the mat, knees up towards the ceiling. Take your right ankle, cross it over your left thigh into a figure four. Really gently press your right thigh forward or away from you. And then tee your arms out towards the sides, take a breath in, let your legs fall to the left as you breathe out. If it feels good on your neck, you turn your gaze over your right shoulder and breathe up and down the length of your spine. 
then it's easy at the end of the class to kind of check out, to disconnect, see if you can stay present, stay with it. Soften your body into the pose. Soften your body into this experience and breathe. With your next inhale, really gently come back to center. Release the right ankle off of the left thigh and then switch sides, left ankle onto right thigh. Gently press your left thigh away. Feel that sensation, breathe into it. And then tee your arms out wide and gently guide your legs over to the right. Gaze to your left. Notice if there's any tension, anything gripping in your body or your mind See if you can release, if you can soften, right? When we soften, we can go deeper. Take another breath in. Another breath out. Really gently draw your legs back to center. Uncross them. A little windshield wiper of your legs side to side and then hug your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your legs, forehead to your knees, if that feels good. Big, deep, the biggest breath that you have, fill all the way up, pause at the top, feel that in your body, everything drawing in towards your center, and then expand and release final resting pose, Shavasana. Take up as much space as needed. Drawing the qualities of surrender into this moment and completely letting go. Without changing anything, start to bring your awareness back to your breath. Follow your next inhale all the way into your body. And then follow your exhale all the way out. Continuing this, allowing your breath to get a little bigger and deeper and fuller. Start to bring gentle movement back into your body. Maybe reaching your arms overhead, full body stretch. Take that big, deep breath in. Big, decompressing breath out. Start to hug your knees back in towards your chest. You'll gently roll yourself to your left or your right side, just pausing for a moment. And then slowly make your way into a seated position. Eyes can stay closed or with a soft gaze. Once you land in your seat, Bring your palms together in front of your heart, Anjali Mudra. Keeping your palms together, take your thumbs, rest into your third eye center right between your eyebrows and take this opportunity to honor your practice, to honor your presence, and to honor your purpose. Slide your hands back to your heart in a moment of complete gratitude. Together, take a deep breath in, and together we bow. Namaste. Namaste, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Happy Friday. Have a wonderful weekend. See you soon.